Just get back to? Yeah, I was busy with club related work until just now. I'm glad I ran into you though. I heard from Elisa that you went into the old schoolhouse again? Yeah, and we made some pretty crazy discoveries while we were at it. We're going to need to keep investigating that place on a regular basis, I'd say. Well, I'd be more than happy to accompany you next time. The request was made to the whole of Class 7 after all, and I'd like to do everything I can to help. Really? That's very kind. Thank you. Maybe I should ask Fee next time, too. And Yusus and Machias while I'm at it. Huh? Fee would be a good choice at the very least. I'm sure she'd be more than happy to accompany us. Or, more than willing, anyway. As for Yusus and Machias, I'm sure a chance will present itself for them to make friends eventually. Maybe then? One can only hope. We really have to do something about those two already. What happened to your right hand? Oh, this? A beautiful lady I ran into in town did it. Or, at least I think she was a lady. Come again? A black cat with really glossy fur. I've never seen it around before. I assume it belongs to someone in town since it was wearing a blue ribbon and a bell. I must have done something to offend it though, because it got all grumpy out of nowhere and scratched me up pretty good. I'm so sorry. What? Please, um, sit down on the sofa. I'll bring a first aid kit and dress that wound right away. Thanks. Do you know it or something? Uh, no, not at all. I've just seen it around town a few times. Uh, anyway, I'll go get the first aid kit. Don't go anywhere. It's just a little scratch. I don't know why she's making such a big deal out of it. I've never seen Emma get so flustered before. do it. This textbook Emma lent me is really helpful. I might actually be able to get decent grades on next month's midterms thanks to her. Doubt I'll be able to even come close to matching her own grades though. Or Machias's for that matter. <laughs> I wasn't trying to help you. But I did cause you some trouble during last month's field study, so... Whether you're a noble or not is beside the point. The bottom line is you lied to me. And I simply cannot trust those who lie. There's a lot about both Machias and Eusis that we don't know. Maybe in time we can discover something about them that'll help us mend their relationship a little. This seems like a good place to stop for a quick breather. Abend time is about to start anyway. right here. It's the Misty you know and love coming to you live from Radio Trista. Oh, actually, I guess it's already started. Misty's voice is always so soothing. We're now in the second half of May, and the greenery all over Erebonia is beginning to reach its peak. It's the perfect time of year to enjoy nature, and the weather is absolutely perfect for a great hike. Listeners in Heimdall have Modder Park to enjoy with its spectacular glass garden. Though, for those willing to hop on a train, I heartily recommend a trip to Lunaria Nature Park. 
Administrative issues kept it closed for a while, but it finally reopened this month and it's worth making the trip. You can relax and take in the scenery of this vast, almost mystical forest, and then grab a cold beer on the way back. I can't think of a better way to spend the weekend, can you? Whoops, with all you students tuning in, maybe I shouldn't recommend boozing it up, should I? You might not be able to grab a cold one just yet, but fresh milk or fruit juice are pretty refreshing in their own way. <laughs> Anyway, let's see who sent us some mail today, shall we? This first one's from future three-star chef from Berea Hard.
Let's do this! Okay, right. leave it to me! Right! Shatter! Off guard! I've got you! Alright! Take this! Thanks! My turn. Huh? Thanks. My turn. today's practical exam. Next, I'll be announcing the details of this weekend's field study. Each of you, please come forward and take one of these. These assignments... Berea Hard and St. Ark. Both very well-known cities here in the Empire. Bereahard's the capital of the Kreutzen province in the east, right? And St. Ark is the capital of Sutherland in the south. Two provincial capitals. They seem like fair choices. I guess they are, but that's the least of our worries. Is this some kind of sick joke? Instructor, what are you trying to prove? Do you have some sort of personal vendetta against us or something? For a change, I agree with him. This is ludicrous. I refuse to accept these group allocations. Change them at once. I don't know. They seem pretty perfect from where I'm standing. Besides, you're from Berehard, so putting you in Group A was a no-brainer. <sighs> then put me in Group B! I'm not thrilled at the thought of going to St. Ark either, but it's better than gallivanting off to his hometown. Besides, everyone knows Berehard is like a breeding ground for nobles and their dusty old ideas. The place is crawling with them. Well, I can't deny that. Especially since that's exactly why I put you in Group A to begin with. I'm no army officer, so I'm not about to go telling you that my orders are absolute such. That's much too military for my liking. But I am your instructor, and it's my duty to look out for your best interests, which I feel is exactly what I'm doing here. So if you have any objection, then how about the two of you try to make me listen to them by force? Uh, 
Interesting. You're not seriously going to... Oh, come on, don't... <laughs> Male pride is so predictable. I knew you couldn't possibly turn down an offer like that. And I wouldn't have it any other way. change your assignments, well, let's just see how well you measure up. Alright, show me what you've got! My turn! Huh. I'll handle this. Possible. It's my turn. How about this? Go. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. I'm sorry, everyone. Right. Ah! Oh. This, this can't be happening. Uh, are you okay? I had no idea she was that strong. I believe she was holding back, too. Hmm. Her combat style is most unique. I couldn't even hazard a guess as to what school she represents. I guess this means... Yep. Decision's final. One up for the educator. Group A and Group B will be heading to their destinations this weekend as planned. Good luck, everybody. I'll be expecting souvenirs. <laughs> Your rank's gone up. Here's a little something from the Academy. Thank you for everything.